bleed black and gold bust forever you already know man it's your boy you know t green and i'm back with another one man i'm glad to know that practice have been going good and the team is getting ready for tcu september 2nd handing out a coach prime mouth changes things because you know some days was a little you know iffy, but that's suspected because coach won't profession and when you want profession sometimes things happen right so <clears throat> With that being said, coach start preaching on being dependable and reliable. And, and that's important because as a player, I depend on you. You know, I, 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 are you reliable? Are you going to get the job done? Can I depend on you to get your job done? I'm going to do my job, but I need to make sure you do yours as well. Because at the end of the day, this is a team sport. This is not an I sport. Just like they said, this ain't basketball where LeBron could go make the final shot and win the game, right? And that is true in football. The quarterback could throw that ball and, and score a touchdown. But guess what? It takes a receiver to catch it. Guess what? It takes some linemen to block. Guess what? It takes other players on the team to do their job, including the running back. Hey, block my blind side in case that left tackle slip up. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Tight end. Do your job. You know what I'm saying? A receiver running the inside route. Go ahead and run it like if the ball coming to you. So that outside, whatever play we run into the outside could really be in profession. Like, really get your job done. Be dependable. Be reliable. Are you reliable? Can I depend on you? And that was the message coach was getting to them boys today. And, and it was a powerful one. And I appreciated it because that is so true. Are you dependable and are you reliable? Because that's what we're going to need September 2nd versus TCU. Hey, but <laughs> did we just get a sneak peek or did we hear a sneak peek or did we get some clues that what? Most shoes is coming on the way, baby. So apparently Travis Hunter loved to go up to Deion Sanders office and I guess take some shoes or look at the shoes. You know, they got a great relationship and he did it the other day while Michael Irvin was done. And he mentioned something. He said... Something along the lines of, I think Dion said something along the lines of, oh yeah, we got more of those coming. <laughs> so what that mean, y'all? I can't wait. Don't tell me we got more than one colors. And I can't wait to see these uniforms that we wear on September 2nd. They've been keeping them kind of like hidden a little bit, but I'm sure. We going to see it. Maybe we'll see it when they run out the tunnel and it'd be a big surprise. And then I do some commentary on it September 3rd after we beat TCU behind September 2nd. Since they think they finna beat us by 50. 50 what? 50 cent? Oh, no. Man, I'm telling you right now. You ain't finna get a 50 piece on me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boy, you <laughs> y'all tripping out there. I ain't gonna even mention the YouTuber who keeps saying that. But anyway, man, it's going down, man. Much love and respect to Dion, man. Hey, be dependable, be reliable, and forget all that, man. We want to see them shoes, dog. <laughs> them primes is on the way. And man, y'all, y'all check out this video, man, and, and get this good morning motivation. Like we Jeezy, baby. I like it, my brother. In practice yesterday, I felt like we performed and we executed well. Uh, dependable. If you say that someone is something dependable, you approve of them because you feel that they can be sure that they will always act consistently or sensibly or do what you need them to do. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands, but who in here are dependable? I mean, straight up dependable. I mean, if I told you I was going to be to your house to pick you up, see, this is how we work back in the day. We told them we were going to be there at 730. We was out there blowing by 725. Okay, we blow the horn a couple times. They didn't come out, we out. That's how it was back in the day. Now y'all meander and wait all day, you know, and get on the phone and start texting and tweet, and you give them another 10 minutes, we left. Who's dependable? Like if you had to get your school assignments done on time, and at the end, are you dependable? If you had to practice consistently on a daily basis at a certain level of expectation, are you dependable? Who's dependable as a friend? Who's dependable as a son? Who's dependable as, as a sibling? Who's dependable as a coach? Who's dependable as a person? It's a guy that sits back there in that corner every day, you know, yeah, 
real anonymous kind. It's Coach Kevin Mathis. I've been knowing him for how long? 25 years. He's dependable. Never once have I asked him to do something that he wasn't there on time and fulfilled excitement. Never once has he asked me to be at his wedding or to be anywhere that I wasn't there on time. Dependable. It's nothing that we've ever asked or expected of each other that we didn't fulfill that obligation because we are dependable. Are you dependable? The next word, reliable. Consistently good in quality or performance. Able to be what? Trusted. Able to be what? Trusted. Able to be trusted. Coach Hart, where you at? Can you take this for me? You know, we talk about reliability, being reliable. Give me something that you think is reliable. Anybody? Parents, good, reliable. Anything else? Say again. Coaches, anything else? One more. God, God. Listen to what y'all just said. Everything you named was animated, has some type of human form or characteristic. It wasn't mechanical. You see, reliability comes on the opposite side of I don't feel like it. You see, machines can break down. You may think they're reliable. But they break down, they're not reliable. They gotta take them to a mechanic, they gotta get fixed. But the human heart, the person, the heart beats in here, everybody you name, it has to be on the other side of I don't feel like it. That's why we get up. Well, yesterday, what do we do lying back, stay here almost all night, right? Because we had to get the shit right. You might want to go to sleep, but guess what? Your I didn't feel like it has nothing to do with you being reliable. When it's fourth and one, when the championship, September the 2nd, are you gonna be reliable? Are you gonna go to bed on curfew instead of trying to sneak out at night? Are you trustworthy? Do you put the main thing to be the main thing? That's what reliability is. That's what your family's gonna depend on. That's what your teammates depend on. Hell, that's what Boulder, Colorado depend on. So when you don't feel like it, you get your job done and you're trustworthy. Be reliable today and forevermore and we'll be champions. Are you gonna be dependable or reliable? Because the more you gonna be that, the more we can trust you, and the more we can trust you, the more we're going to be successful, the more we're successful, we're going to win, the more we win, the more y'all go to the next level. Have you ever noticed the team, the most winning the team, the kids go to the next level? <laughs> the worst team, the kids don't go nowhere. Have y'all noticed that? That's what happens. So if you want to go and take the homies with you, because that's what y'all want to do, that's win. And it starts win. And it starts when? Yeah. And it starts when? Yeah. Let's do it, Trevor. Look at this, right? You want me to show him? No. no? Sure. I just showed the, the white socks. That's cold. This is what they wear, too. This is what they should do it all the way. They're going to put me here. They're going to make me right there. Mm-hmm. You know, you're fine. Yeah, so, uh, and before my players wearing them this year, and the whole, all the people from this room next year. Man, man we had a problem. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's so big. Oh, man, brother. You really be right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Tell me like, you know what we do? Tell me like, But God is good though, God know I would have Like no, eat, like anything. Like, no, anything, dog. <laughs> <laughs> man, can you stop, man? You got that brother in him. Can you stop, dog? This want to take something. Something, dog. Something. Take something. Something. <laughs> something, man. No, that was nice, though. I never did. You did, dude. I was already in there from the scout. You can move. Yeah. In the bar.
Don't eat anything. Don't eat anything. Don't eat anything, dog. Can you stop, dog? This won't put water taste up. Something. It won't taste up. Something. Sitting down in the boat for him. Oh, that, oh, that was unbelievable. Just have him located on the boat where he couldn't get out and go nowhere. Do not. But the thing about it, he's a competitor. So when the fish start biting, he gonna start to pee. That's what he is. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. I'm gonna be right back with another one.